Doesn't it make sense that I would upgrade, boy? No more weird rock band set up in front of my face to have to do a video. Kind of excited. I got my snowball set up here and I got a mount. So I'm no longer setting up the rock band drum set in front of me. It's over there just hanging out on its own. I'll still use you, just not for this. So my rock band drum set set up over there. I got a camera mount for my snowball. It's looking nice. And what's this behind me? Oh, whoa, that shadow looks weird. <laughs> it looks like I have a tail. I also went ahead and invested in some green screen and a light kit. I would show it to you guys, but I have to move the camera. It took really long to get it where I wanted, where I wouldn't have too many issues with the shadows. So unfortunately, I can't move that. I'm over here looking at my audio levels. They're peaking. Maybe I can move this a little bit further away from me right there. Maybe we get some good audio. I'll double check just to be sure. Maybe it doesn't have to be directly in front of my face. I'm new to this, so cut me some slack, bro. I'm trying. So right here today, I'm excited to get into Covet Lee episode three, Journey to Elder God. Boy! Not gonna do a long one this time because that was the last video's bit. But from where we are now, um, 1 0 in the Combat League. Really excited to keep grinding. Keep grinding away to get to Elder God, boy. So without further ado, let's get started with episode three. All right, so we're back and now we are one and oh. We got the first one out of the way and we're about to jump into game number two. So although I do play Jax and Shao Kahn as well, I did decide to stick with Cassie throughout this whole thing just because she is my best character. And I figured the best way to improve with her would be to use her the whole time. I start off strong against the Scorpion. This is a character that I do struggle with sometimes. So we're hoping that I can learn the matchup a little better, and we'll see what I can do with him. Of course I'm playing sloppily, and I get caught by a crushing blow, because why not, right? And I eat 21% of my health bar for my troubles. This guy's blowing me up, so I gotta find some momentum and do something back. But at this point, it's looking like a bad round for me. Alright, so right now this fight against Scorpion is looking like all my other fights against Scorpion. Where I start off really bad, really cautious, and I just let him do whatever he wants. But, it's not gonna fly this time, Chief. So I'm trying to set him up for the crushing blow there, and I get caught slacking. So I had to use my breakaway, but then I force him to break away immediately after, and that means it's time to bring the pain, boy! You better watch your head, because I'm swinging at it every time. Still a little bit sloppy, but I've got the life lead here, and it's time to say goodnight to the boys! And your head, sir. So for the second round, he decides to go right back into it, and it looks like things are gonna stay exactly the same as they left off. So we're coming down towards the end of the round. I wonder how many times he's gonna fall for that back three nut punch, nut kick, whatever you wanna call it. But we're close to the end of the round. I know he's gonna panic. I kind of expected the teleport. You gotta do better, bruh. Speaking of doing better, bruh, I went for the charge gun crushing blow and got blown up for it again. <laughs> how many times am I gonna do this before I actually learn? Hey, that's a bad idea. Just like the first round, this one's a little close, but I catch him slipping again. 
Looks like one more touch should do it as long as I can get a combo on him, so I'm gonna keep the pressure up. But I let him out of the corner! And I almost die for my sins with the panic pixel! Oh boy! One of these days I'm gonna learn to keep my composure in pressure situations, but that day was not today because I didn't deserve to live! Ugh. So we're both starting off this round a little cautiously, a little bit more patient. He teabag! I saw that, sir! The disrespect, the blatant disrespect in the face of me, sir. Teabag again. He did it again! Tell him what he's won, Shawnee! An ass whooping! I can't believe the audacity of this dude to teabag not once, but twice! In my face! And I was trying to keep up the pressure, and I accidentally pressed a button when I shouldn't have, and I got caught with a grab crushing blow. Now I'm bleeding out, and he's teabagging again! Like the disrespect by this man! And now I panic down one, but it looks like it's gonna be another close round. He's a scorpion, so you know he's gonna teleport, but this time he doesn't have enough to break away, and I take the round. For your ultimate act of disrespect, I give you two trillion tea bags, sir. Good game. It's still all love, bruh. Even though you disrespected me. Fatality. So now we're two and zero. We're gonna ride that momentum into the third game. This guy's using Jax, a character I also use, so one I know how to fight against, so one that I'm not afraid of, so one that's about to get got, boy. So I am in danger of losing this round, he is actually getting me. Um, it was nothing impressive, just things I shouldn't have been getting hit by, like his fatal blow. So I'm trying to make the comeback here, I've got the momentum, and I just do not watch my feet. I get hit by his wake up attack and I lose the first round. round two, fight. So it's such a big deficit in the last round is because he did that move which leads to a crushing blow. It's extremely punishable when blocked, so I made sure to let him know that I know what's up. Unfortunately, I kept getting hit after all of my nut kicks, so I couldn't keep the pressure. Um, kept losing momentum. I was blocking everything, though. I was not gonna get beat for free, sir. So I switched up my strategy. I decided to zone him out a little bit, stop playing close up, that's Jax's game. Stop! Have a time! Completely unrelated to anything, I'm having way more fun with this green screen than I should be. <laughs> So unfortunately I do get caught there, and it is a crushing blow, and this is the first round I've lost in Combat League. Whew. Only three games in. <laughs> Luckily it only counts for the set, and this is like my favorite fatality in the game. It is amazing. But round two, you're mine. Round one, fight!